if you're a beginner video editor and your laptop sounds like a jet engine every time you hit play in your timeline, we've all been there. Now you've probably Googled best laptop for Premiere Pro and you got a bunch of results. It was hard to choose and a lot of them are overpriced, but this laptop, this little powerhouse right here, it's budget friendly, it's great for beginners, and I'm giving this one away. Let's jump on in. So the laptop that I'm recommending here is the HP Victus 15.6 inch with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 GPU. Thanks to our sponsor NVIDIA, I'm able to give this computer away. But how do you enter? Just leave a comment down below in the comment section about why you wanna use this computer and then fill out the form, which is pinned in the comment section. It's also available in the description as well. And you need to fill that out by the deadline listed below. All right, so before I actually test this laptop in real editing scenarios for you, let's get the specs out of the way. The HP Victus comes with an Intel Core i7 CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte of internal solid state drive. Now for video editing, the most important spec is the GPU, which is the graphics processing unit, because modern video editing apps like Premiere Pro actually offload a lot of the computer work to the GPU. This GPU is great for video editing but it's also great for gaming. So you get the best of both worlds for creative work and for fun. But when you hear the name NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 GPU and you're new to video editing, you're like, okay, that's a name. What does it mean? And why is that special? Fair questions. Let me explain. Inside this GPU are fifth generation Tensor cores, which are specialized hardware units built to perform matrix math extremely fast. Now stay with me. This type of math is used in AI, machine learning, and deep learning. And you might ask, well, why does that matter for video editing? It matters because today's video editing softwares are packed with a bunch of AI effects and machine learning workflows. For example, in Premiere Pro, there's speech-to-text transcription. There's enhanced speech, which uses AI to improve your sound. There's optical flow for slow motion, which basically predicts new frames that aren't even there. You've probably used it when you wanted to slow down footage in Premiere Pro. Machine learning is involved there. There's automatic masking, automatic color grading, video upscaling, the list goes on. Long story short, the RTX 5060 GPU speeds up your entire video editing process, not just from decoding and processing your footage faster, but also working great with these new AI powered workflows. All right, so now let's test how well this laptop plays back a complete timeline and encodes or exports. So right now I have the console open. You can press control F12 on your Windows machine to pull this up and it will show you if there's any dropped frames or how long it takes to do certain processes. Right now, let's just go ahead and play back this timeline that is a vertical video that has several layers, more than three with text, transitions, audio, and let's see how well it plays back at full resolution and then we'll take a look at the console. I'm here with the brand new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080 AI PC, which makes the overall video editing experience in Premiere Pro so much faster. And here you can see the frames drop during playback is zero out of over 2000 frames. That's really good, especially for a computer that's entry level. So now let's see how fast it is at encoding or exporting the entire video. One way to test to see how long it actually takes without exporting is by going up to sequence, render sequence, render in to out. And this will render everything in the console will take us how long it'll take to export the entire video. And this is a, a minute, in 29 second video. It's moving pretty fast. So you can see that our timeline is now green. It has that green bar because it's been fully rendered in and out like an export. And here it shows rendered 2,172 frames in just 28 seconds. For a one minute and 30 second clip, 
That's great. All right. So of course, I love nerding out about all these cool effects in Premiere. But on a more fun note, I haven't gamed in ages since I was a young girl. And one really great benefit of PCs as compared to Apple computers is that you can game. And this laptop comes with a three month free PC game pass. And I was stoked to find out that Diablo 4 is included in that because I used to play Diablo all the time when I was younger. Oh no, not the bear. Gosh, I hate that you gotta kill a bear like that. Mm -hmm. Money, money, money. Oh, I got shoes. Shopping spree in the middle of Siberia. I just wanna say thanks for watching so far. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? I'm Kelsey, I'm the creator of Premiere Gal, and here on this channel I post video editing tutorials, I do some graphic design, audio, and gear reviews. And if you're new to the video creation process, my friend, you are in the right place. And for your convenience, because I know you're looking for specific information, I put time-coded chapters down below that you can review at any time. So here I have a new Premiere Pro project open, and I have this talking head clip imported. I'm going to drag and drop this into my timeline. Now, what I can do with the text panel in Premiere Pro is transcribe this video clip, and this is AI powered. So right now it's just thinking and transcribing the footage. You'll also get this progress bar up here that shows you the progress of the speech to text. And you can see that it's transcribing locally on the device, and look at how fast this is working. It's nearly done as I'm explaining it. And by the way, if you're new to Premiere Pro and you wanna learn how to set up your first project and how to import footage, I made a full free course here on YouTube for beginners, which I'll put up in a card up here and link in the description box below. And look at that, it's complete. And that's a nine minute clip and it did that almost instantly. Okay, so what's cool about the text-based editing here is I can now edit my video like a Word document and you can see these little ellipses here. These are the pauses. So we can remove those pauses automatically. So this one's 6.7 seconds. This will help shape our rough cut. So I can go to this funnel and filter by pauses. It'll select all of them and I can press delete. And here I can choose to delete all. And look at that, it removed all of the pauses, creating cuts automatically in my timeline. I can also filter by filler words, and you can choose to delete those as well. Delete all. I didn't have too many, just a few, so it was automatically deleted in my timeline. And then from here, you can read the transcript and visually see what needs to be removed. You can see here in the beginning, I recorded recording, new recording, and recording. Okay, la 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 la. That needs to be removed. So what I can do is I can select all of this and just select extract or the apostrophe key. So extract and now that's removed from the timeline. So you can see how quickly this worked, right? All right, now I wanna show you this really cool color hack that I use on all of my YouTube talking head videos. So you can see that we already made all these cuts on the talking head footage. Rather than applying color effects to the individual clips, we're going to create an adjustment layer to apply effects to that will affect everything underneath. So from the project panel, select this little new item and go to adjustment layer and press okay. Let's go ahead and drag this over and then we can expand our timeline and drag it to the end. And now with our adjustment layer selected, we can go over to Lumetri Color. If you don't see that here, you can go to Window, Lumetri Color. So one thing I like to do first, just to get started, underneath Basic Correction is select Auto. And this will use Adobe Sensei AI technology to make adjustments to the color and the light. And this is just a starting point, right? So I can go in and say, oh, actually I want a little bit more contrast. I wanna crush the blacks a little bit more. I want to reduce the shadows a bit. And then maybe, just maybe I wanna go in and go to creative and add some more vibrancy to this image. And maybe, just maybe, we can go down here and add a vignette around the edges. So now we can go to this effects icon here to bypass the effect, this is before and this is after. Just a bit more contrast, making a little bit more cinematic looking, just through a few clicks. So once again, this is super beginner friendly, right? Because if you don't know what all these sliders do, it's a great starting point to go from. And then you can play with the sliders, play with the contrast, get more comfortable with it, 
and ultimately create a better image. Another really common effect that creators like to do is put things and objects behind the talking head subject. And this requires masking. Inside of Premiere Pro Beta, there's now object masking, which should be coming to the current build soon. All right, so I have my talking head in the timeline. It's a funny still frame that we have here. And I wanna cut out myself, my microphone and the laptop so I can add some jets flying behind me because here in the clip I say, and your laptop sounds like a jet engine. I thought it would be funny to have some jets fly behind me. So first we need to cut myself out. So let's go down to the toolbar here and select the object mask tool. And here when I hover over myself, it automatically creates a mask for me, done. And then I can select the microphone to add that as well as the laptop to add them all to the same mask. So now we can go over here to the tracker and track selected mask forward and backward. And so this will track forward and then backwards just in a few seconds. And now I can drag the object mask down to opacity. And now the background you can see is transparent. And it did a great job at tracking my talking head. No custom keyframing or anything. By the way, the transparency grid is turned on because I have it enabled here. You can see the check mark from the wrench tool. All right, so now we need to duplicate this layer by pressing Alt, drag up, and release. And the reason why I put it on video layer three is because on video layer two, that's where I wanna put the jets. So on the bottom layer, we need to turn off our mask, right? We can just select it and delete it because I still wanna have the background behind me. I just wanna add the jets going across it because the clip that I found here of the jets is transparent. Let's drag this clip down here and let's also add a slight crossfade on the audio and reduce the volume using a central sound. And let's see how it looks. Engine, every time you hit play in your timeline. And look at that, the playback is super smooth as well. There were no dropped frames. So the RTX 5060 GPU is super smooth and works really well with the object masking, gonna save you a lot of time. If you wanna learn more about object masking, I recently made a full tutorial on how it works inside of Premiere, which you can check out after this video. I'll drop a link in the description box below. Here are some other effects that you might use often inside of Premiere. So I have another clip here that I recorded on my phone. It's a vertical video. Let's go ahead and drag this into this icon here to create a new sequence. And notice that it's a vertical sequence and it's kind of small. Well, a trick that I always use is go up here to workspaces and change it to vertical. So that way the video program monitor is on the right here and you can see the vertical video much better. But when I play it back, you'll hear that there's this hum because I forgot to turn off my electric fireplace. Hey everyone, I'm just letting you know that I'm giving away the HP Victus laptop here. Well, we can actually remove that pretty easily. What we can do is we can go up to window and go to essential sound and select the dialogue clip. And you can see that it automatically labeled it as dialogue which is an AI feature. Now there's a couple things that we can do here. There's enhanced speech, which is an AI tool that will basically make a sound recording sound more professional. This was just my iPhone microphone, by the way. So let's go ahead and click on enhance. And if you increase it too much, it does sound a little bit robotic-like. So I recommend lowering this down slightly. And then let's go ahead and let's also reduce noise because we wanna help get rid of that background noise. This is a denoise tool that's built into Premiere as well. And then we can also go back up underneath enhance, there is loudness and we can auto match the loudness to standard. And if we want, we can increase the volume slightly as well. So let's go ahead and play this back and see how it sounds now. Hey everyone, I'm just letting you know that I'm giving away the HP Victus laptop here. Let's go ahead and play the before. Let's turn off our effects here. Let's bypass enhanced speech, turn off denoise, and turn off the hard limiter. This is the before. Hey everyone, I'm just letting you know that I'm giving away the HP Victus laptop. And now this is the after. Hey everyone, I'm just letting you know that I'm giving away the HP Victus laptop. And this is a lifesaver for me. If I ever have an issue where my mic didn't connect properly or I forgot to turn off a fan in the background, I can use these tools from the Essential Sound Panel to improve my audio fast. Another tool that I use all the time is called the Remix tool. And this will allow you to remix a music track 
to the duration of your video so you can keep that natural ending. And I use this all the time and you guessed it, it's powered by AI. So let me show you how it works. Let's drag in this music track into our timeline. You can see that our video is about 26 seconds and our music track is over two minutes in length. So what we can do to remix it down rather than just dragging the ending and adding a crossfade, you can use the remix tool here. So I already have it selected. Now I just select the end of it and drag it in to meet the end of our video. And this will remix it almost instantaneously. Did you see how quick that was? And it will automatically create these splices here. So it's gonna be loud. We're gonna show you how to lower the volume level so you can hear my dialogue again, but just listen to the music in those cuts. Now that I'm giving away the HP Victus laptop here, at you can't hear that there's any splices happening and it almost ends exactly perfectly. And see you guys in the new year. Perfect. Now for leveling. With music, you typically want it to be about minus 18 to minus 25 decibels. And if you solo our track here, you can look at the meters and see how loud it is. It's peaking, so it's too loud. So what we can do is go up to Essential Sound, auto match the music, and then we can lower it slightly a few decibels, and then we can listen back. And now you can see it's under minus 18. Let's unsolo that. So now we can hear the dialogue. Go we'll fill out this form here to go uh, get a chance to win. So enjoy, happy. Seriously, I use the remix tool all the time and I think it's the hidden gem. Probably a lot of you watching this have seen me demonstrate this before if you're a regular subscriber, but if you're new to Premiere Pro, definitely you're gonna love using this tool. So if you're looking for a great laptop present for a cousin, an uncle, a niece, a nephew, a son, a daughter, a mom or dad, this is a great beginner's laptop. And if you use my link below to make this purchase, I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. It just helps support the channel. And if you have any other questions about this laptop, don't be shy, just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you wanna learn more video editing tips, you can click this video right over here to go check that out. And yeah, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Woo.